So in the last two videos, I went over eighth notes and sixteenth notes, which eighth notes are. Um, let me let me add in the quarter notes. Eighth notes are two notes per beat, or two notes per sixteenth note per quarter note. God, what am I saying? Um, and sixteenth notes are four notes per beat. Or per bass drum, as you see here, I have my bass drums playing the quarter notes. So, eighth notes would be like this. Make it an eighth. Again, this probably is confusing uh, using this up here. But, I mean, there's not a lot to it. Once you get used to it, you basically have it mastered. There's not much more complexities than, than what it is. So, let's hear it. You know what? It's good to hear it a couple times. All right. But this video is not about eighth notes or sixteenth notes. It's about triplets. Triplets are weird. When I started playing drums, it took me a long time to figure out what, what a triplet was. What I thought triplets were, I'm actually going to show it first. Because I do not want anybody to, to have the same struggles that I did. This is what I thought triplets were. I thought it was a group of three notes. But what I'm playing, right, what, I'm, what I'm writing right now, well, yeah, it's a group of three notes, but but um, but it's sixteenth notes. Triplets is its own subdivision. It doesn't matter. A triplet, you could play triplets and play groups of four notes as long as you're playing triplets. See that that probably doesn't make sense to you, but but let me show you. Okay. So this is what I thought triplets were. Sounds like triplets, right? It's groups of three notes. No. Triplets aren't like that. And the reason why I, I started this video off talking about eighth notes and sixteenth notes is because in an eighth note, you get two notes per beat. Per beat, two notes, evenly spaced, perfectly starting into the next note. So having two notes per beat each time on all on all four beats it would sound perfectly even spaced like dun 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 something like that and with sixteenth notes you get dubba 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 well triplets it's three notes per beat evenly spaced so this is how I'm gonna show you a snare pattern that uses triplets uh, triplets up here you can't um, See, I've been using Note Flight for years, and they they recently changed it. I haven't been using it a lot lately. Uh, there used to be something over here you can click down. I don't exactly know where to make triplets, but I know there's a shortcut. So click eighth note. Uh, it needs to be note wrong. Okay, keep it a quarter note, and press three on your on your numbers above the E. All right, so now you see one, two, three. It's funny how, how I need it to be an, a quarter note, but now you can clearly see that these are eighth notes from the one stem. So these, oh, fuck, I did a mistake. All right, let me just get this right. Fill it in. So these aren't gonna sound like groups of three. It, it's and and triplets aren't exactly groups of three. It's only groups of three because there's three notes per beat. But what you're gonna hear is just a never. Uh, it's gonna be like a continuous 
That's what it's going to sound like. These are counted one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I heard people count it like one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. You, you could really count it however you want. You could make up your own your own ways to count it. It's it's really just to help you uh, understand the speed that you have to play before you play it. If you could hear it in your head, it would be easier to play it. So, so that's triplets. Uh, now, I made the 8th note and 16th note video separately, but there are actually different triplets. There's quarter note triplets, 8th note triplets, 16th note triplets, 32nd note triplets, 64th note triplets. I mean, theoretically, it never ends. You could have 128th note triplets, but nobody is ever going to do that. So but I, I want to show you more. Because, like I said, I had, I had trouble with triplets when I started. I didn't quite understand the theory of it. So I want to show you a beat that uses triplets. A beat that's based entirely in triplets. Uh, there's a lot of songs that you probably know and love that are based in triplets. One song I played once, I, I played it so many times, and there was a certain fill that I just couldn't play right. I could not get this feel right. And after maybe it was like, like half a year or something, a lot of time went by, and I realized that the reason why I couldn't play that fill was because in my mind, I wasn't... At this point, I knew what triplets were, but I didn't realize that songs actually used triplets, like, entirely. Uh, I just thought everything was based in eighth notes or sixteenth notes, so I was thinking of it like that, and I... I just couldn't play the, I just could not play that fill. Uh, it All right, so, um, it's going to be a simple beat. It's going to be like a punky beat. Uh, Green Day uses this a lot uh, in their song Holiday. Actually, it's a, it's a common song. Maybe you know it. It's based entirely in triplets. Uh, so, yes. snare on two and four. Get some hi-hats in there. All right. All right, I can click this whole measure, and I want to do this. It's going to make the crash open two but it's not going to have any effect. Now these hi-hats are going to sound open. So, so this beat is going to be like this. I'm going to have a bass drum here, a bass drum before the snare drum, and before the bass drum, the snare drum. And then before the snare drum, another bass drum, and another snare drum. All right, now this beat is going to sound very swinging. Like if anybody ever tells you to swing it, swing equals triplets. Also, like jazz and blues are, they use the hell out of triplets. Like a lot. Like I don't think you could play jazz without playing triplets. Same thing with blues. If you tried playing blues without triplets, it would probably just sound like classic bluesy rock. All right, let's see this. speed it up. Uh, one, one sixty. Well, not sixty. Uh, 
before I was actually going um, talking about how there's there's eighth note triplets and sixteenth note triplets. So just to show you what this will sound like. Ooh, add measure before. Okay, that's what I just did. I want to show you what a fill would sound like in an entirely sixteenth note triplets. So imagine you're playing like a rock beat and you're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, snare on two and four, bass drum on one and three. You're playing this beat for three times, then you go into a fill, a simple fill, just on the snare. You're gonna play sixteenth notes. Like a doom pa doom pa doo doom. Simple simple fill, just using sixteenth notes. Well, if you're playing a, a simple beat with triplets, when you go into your 16th note fill, it, it'll sound a lot more uh, like in tune with the song if you if you play 16th note triplets instead. Uh, so here, I'll show you what that sounds like. Okay, what do I want to do here? Okay, I think I could like do a shortcut. Like if I do eighth note and click this, this will get me the result I want. Like this is starting off on 16th notes, but I can do it faster by keeping it the note highlighted as a quarter note but then pressing six so what I'm basically saying is six notes per beat which is what what 16 note triplets are in triplets there's three notes per beat and in 16 note triplets it just doubles it the same way if you were playing eighth notes when you go to play 16 notes it's just doubling it so yeah here we go I'm gonna actually slow this down because this is gonna be really pretty fast. Okay, now this is what just just went back to standard 16 notes. I actually want to fix this the whole measure first. Oh. Simple fill, you know, just on the snare and through the toms. Alright, let's, uh, oh yeah, I want to slow it down. Do it back to 120. 